Uh, the first time I came was MIP TV in 2006, so 10 years ago. Coming from a country like South Africa, where our TV market is tiny, you know, we've only got a couple of broadcasters, and, and coming here and seeing this was really, really overwhelming. Felt like a tiny little fish in a huge ocean, so it was very, very scary. So the first time we came, we attended a lot of conferences because we didn't really have product to sell and we were here to just figure things out and that. And it was like there was this whole new thing for us being discussed, like second screens and interactive television. And we were like, wow, you know, like this didn't exist in South Africa. And we took all of that learning back home with us. And a couple of months later, our local broadcaster released a brief for a youth interactive TV show and we were like well we have all this knowledge and we wrote a proposal and we won the show and it's been on air for nine years we're in the 11th season it's the largest youth show on South African television we have about 250 million viewers a day um, between all the different platforms that we now broadcast on and it's just and it's for me it is our MIP success story. I believe that if we hadn't come to MIP TV in 2006, we would not have Hectic 99 now. So that was, and, and I feel like every single time I come, I learn a new trend, I learn something new that's happening because we're quite removed in South Africa from, you know, what, what, everything that's going on in television. So lots of learnings all the time. For the last four years, we are now producing television for the international market. So we're not just a, we're not now just producing for South Africa. So it's not just about coming to MIP and taking those learnings home for our local market, but we're now also creating our own shows, our own intellectual property and distributing it around the world. We would never ever be able to grow the way we have if we stayed just a local producer in South Africa. So if we hadn't come here and been exposed to this and the, and the fact that we can develop ideas, own them, sell them and, produ you know, and produce them, well, it has changed, it's changed everything about who we are. But when we started, we still were five, five women that started it together and we probably had three staff members. So let's talk, there were eight of us. And today we are 96 and we own three buildings, we have a live HD studio, and so it's been huge growth very, very quickly as well. So it's been amazing.